Nightmare on Utoya delves into the chilling and terrifying events that unfolded on the peaceful island of Utoya in Norway on July 22nd, 2011. This narrative focuses on the harrowing experiences of the victims and the overwhelming sense of terror that gripped the island during those horrific hours. Once upon a time, there existed a picturesque island named Utoya, tucked away in the tranquil embrace of a Norwegian lake. Its shores were bathed in golden sunlight, and laughter echoed through the air as young political enthusiasts gathered for their annual summer camp. Little did they know that this idyllic haven would soon transform into a nightmare they could never have imagined. As the sun sank below the horizon, casting long shadows across the island, a malevolent presence slithered through the darkness. Disguised in the uniform of a trusted guardian, Anders Bering Bivik prowled the shores with a wicked grin. His sinister intentions veiled beneath a facade of authority. A sudden crack shattered the peaceful serenity of the night. Gunshots tore through the air, leaving a trail of terror in their wake. The campers, their joy turned to sheer terror, realized they were trapped in a waking nightmare. Chaos erupted as panic spread like wildfire, each terrified scream punctuating the terror that had befallen them. Desperate to survive, campers scattered like frightened animals, seeking refuge in the labyrinth of trees, behind crumbling structures, or even plunging into the icy waters that encircled the island. That pursuit of survival became a macabre dance, uh, as they dodged shadows and clung to hope with trembling hearts. Breivik, fueled by an insidious darkness, relished in the terror he unleashed. He stalked the island, his footsteps reverberating with dread, as if the very ground trembled beneath him. Each encounter with his victims became a gruesome tableau of horror, their blood staining the once pristine landscape. The island became a symphony of terror, the air filled with the cacophony of screams, cries, and the thunderous roar of gunfire. Time lost all meaning. As hours stretched into eternity, survivors clinging desperately to the flickering embers of hope. The island itself seemed to hold its breath, caught in the grip of an unspeakable nightmare. In the distance, sirens wailed. A distant cry for salvation. Authorities raced against time, navigating treacherous waters and logistical challenges to reach the island. With each passing minute, the survivors yearned for their arrival, hoping and praying that rescue would come and the horror would finally end. When the final gunshot echoed across the lake, a devastating silence settled upon Utoya. The survivors emerged from hiding, their faces etched with grief and trauma. They stood amidst a chilling stillness, forever changed by the unspeakable darkness that had consumed their once peaceful sanctuary. In the aftermath, the island mourned. The fallen, forever remembered, left a void that could never be filled. Yet amidst the sorrow, a resilient spirit emerged. The survivors, scarred but unbroken, held each other close, vowing to rebuild their shattered lives and honor the memory of those lost. Utoya became a symbol, a reminder of the fragility of life and the strength that arises from the depths of unimaginable horror. The island stood as a testament to the indomitable power of hope, the courage of those who faced unspeakable terror and the unwavering spirit that endures even in the darkest of times.